Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and today I'm here to show you how to correct an error you may make when you're rolling your quilt top. and I showed you in my previous video where I quilted this quilt with the bubbles design when I actually went to roll the quilt the first time the screen did not take my command when I pressed the button and I didn't know that so I went ahead and rolled the quilt and so now I am here to show you what to do should this happen to you because once you roll a quilt and then you need to nest and you can't complete your nesting process it could be a bit of a hassle trying to get your pattern lined back up so i hope this video is helpful but what i have to do now is unroll the quilt and do this whole process again so what i'm going to have to do is now x out of this <laughs> okay and so what i'm going to do is roll my quilt back this is a good learning point because I had to learn this um, myself. So I'm going to roll this quilt back and then I'll come back. So we want to go into edit because I want to tell it that I want to move my start point. So I'm going to go to move, which is the second icon down. And then down here on the bottom, it says move start. And it says on here, move the machine to where you would like the pattern to start and press OK. So on my, down here, my pattern started somewhere in this particular area. So I'm going to tell it to kind of start where it kind of started before. And I am guessing a little bit, so I'm hoping that this will work out. In other patterns, you have a defined start and stop. With this being a circle, it's a little bit more difficult to do that. So I got it in the position that I wanted to start, and I'm going to hit check mark. And so that's all that the machine has done is moved the screen. It was up here at first, and now it's down here to where I gave it my check mark. I'm very close to the beginning. Okay? So now what I want to do is I want to go back to home. And I now want to tell it that I'm ready to start. So I'm going to press the green button. And it says the machine will start just like it does every other time. It says verify that the needle is in the up position. It is. So I'm going to hit the start. And what it's going to do is take one stitch for me to bring up that bobbin thread. Okay. So then I'm going to hit OK. And then it's going to start trying to stitch and to do the lock. And I'm going to stop it. So the reason why I'm stopping it is because I'm going to try to tell it that I have now stitched the entire row. So by taking that one stitch, it thinks that it's now, it knows it's in the right position. And so now I can go ahead and roll the quilt and do my nesting all over again. So I want to tell it to stop. So now it's completely out of that. I'm going to not worry about pulling up my bobbin down here but what I'm going to do now is tell it that I want to nest because it knows now where my position is so we're going to do that whole nesting thing again where I am now going to tell it where my nesting spot is sorry guys about this camera on this tripod trying to move it so you all can see so now I'm going to go back to this nesting point that I had before and I'm going to tell it that I'm nesting right there with a check mark. And now it tells me to roll the quilt. And that's what I'm going to do. So we've been here before. <laughs> I've already basted the sides down so I don't have to do that. 
this is how you correct the error of rolling or not rolling when you're supposed to. So now I've rolled the quilt. I've come back to my screen and I can tell it that I've rolled the quilt. And now it's going to say move the machine to your nesting point. And that's the point that I just had it at. But I also want to put my side clamps back on. So we have now rolled the quilt, got our side clamps on. And I will say that, you know, it's a lot to record all of this and not forget a step. But I wanted, I'm glad that I missed this step because if you do this and you will do it, you know how to correct it when you're at home working on your own system. So now that we have moved the quilt to our nesting position is what it wants us to do now. And that's that spot that I marked down here at the bottom of that circle. And I'm not going to be able to hold you and do that at the same time because I got to lean in here and see where it's at that little white mark. And so I am gonna put my needle down to make sure I'm there and I am, and I'm just going to put a check mark. And then it also comes up with another screen. Say if you didn't nest exactly where you want it, you can zoom in and I can see that I'm exactly on my circles where I want to be. Right here, I am right on the circle right here compared to the half circle that's up above it. So I am exactly in the right place. So all I need to do is hit check mark. But if I wasn't, I could use go back into the move feature and move it up or down as I need to. But for right now, for me, it's just a check. And it doesn't really tell you anything once you've done nesting. The whole process of nesting is complete. All I need to do now is go up and hit my start button and it will work appropriately. Thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye T-Quilters. Stay blessed.